Hey guys, Aaron here with Double A Shaves, back for another video. Doing a little mail call action today. Just got a package from Stephen Joyner of Southern Witchcrafts. Uh, package from Georgia there. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty excited about this one because uh, th this is a brand I've been wanting to try for quite a while. I've seen a lot of good stuff about it, and um, yeah, their whole thing is like uh, you know dark, earthy type scents. Um, kind of has like a earthy like witchcraft type theme and um yeah it seems right up my alley you know um they're all they're vegan and uh it's kind of cool on their website it just says you know he, he just said you know we want to make our soaps affordable and we want to our goal is to just do like interesting scents and uh yeah just really neat so um yeah so i'm happy to these are my first soaps from southern witchcraft so i'm really happy to test these out today uh, I got a sampler pack of their uh, their 10 original scents, so I'm really excited to uh, crack open this bad boy and see what we got. Here we go. Got the box cutter. Yeah, I saw on, um, I remember seeing on IMCDB's channel, um, the way they package these samples is kind of neat. I wonder if they did it this time. Ah, all right. Kind of cool there. A little dark tissue, I like it. All right, we got a little card. What's that? Uh, Chanting Vegan Shave Products. Courtney Brooks, Soap Witch Extraordinaire. <laughs> very cool, very cool. It's got their website on there and everything. I like it a lot. Ah, yeah, look at that. Look at this packaging of the samples. That's just absolutely awesome. Yeah, I remember... Um, yeah, I remember seeing this on IMCDB's channel. I thought it was really neat. Yeah, I, I think a lot more shave companies should package their samples like this. This is just too cool. I've never really seen this before. So yeah, really, really digging this a lot. Um, yeah, and again, this I've never had a Southern Witchcraft soap before, but I've seen a lot about it online and um, you know, a lot about their scents and I, you know, their whole thing is just kind of uh kind of up my alley so I think really think I'm going to I'm really happy to be going over you know some of my thoughts in the sense today here so get it untied here a little bit oh, uh. you know what? I think I might just cut it my box cutter I can just do that it might be easier there we go all right All right, so first one, I'm gonna, first scent I'm gonna take a look at is Necromantic. Let's see, I got some of the scent notes here. I don't have all the scent notes in these because a lot of these soaps have like 11 notes, 10 notes. I just have the original, I just have like the four that are on the cover, um, you know, like the four main notes of each soap. So I'm just gonna be going over that. So let's see, Necromantic is Wisteria, Rose, Honey, and Red Wine. Interesting, I've never really, I don't think I've ever smelled a soap with a wine note in it before, so. Oh, that's interesting. It's, uh, hmm. Very natural smelling kind of, kind of floral soap, that's interesting. Yeah, I definitely smelled a wine in there too. Um, yeah, you know, I thought because this one had like a wine note, I thought it would have been like a more synthetic scent, but, um, yeah, this one's neat. It's like a, it's a pretty real type of, uh, pretty realistic type, you know, wine smelling, uh, wine smelling scent. That's cool. Yeah. Honey, red wine, honey, rose, wisteria. Yeah. I think I'm mainly picking up the wine and the honey. Maybe the floral notes, like the rose and wisteria kind of make it a little less sweet and take the edge off, but, um, hmm. yeah, I gotta say, uh, yeah, Necromantic is nice. I like that one. That's a winner for me. All right, next up, we got, we got, uh, Pomona, and I think just based off all the, the scent descriptions here, I think, um, you know, and just what I've seen online of this one, I, I'm guessing this one's gonna be my favorite, but we'll see. I don't know. So Pomona is, uh, what do we got? I got my list here. Apple, honey, spice, and red wine. So yeah, fall type scent here. 
Yeah, very beautiful. Um, yeah, it kind of just, it smells like a fall candle. If you were to smell like a, like a fall cinnamon spice type candle in the store, that's kind of what it smells like. Extremely pleasant. Very nice. Yeah, I would say this is probably a crowd pleaser. I don't think anyone would dislike this scent. Yeah, very heavy on the, uh, definitely like cinnamon and spice forward. And you get the apple in there too. It's got some, this one has wine in it also. So, um, yeah, really nice. It kind of smells like, um, I used to have like a fall country store up in Vermont where I used to live. And, you know, when you, it kind of smells like that whole store. Because I think the store had a lot of soaps and like fall soaps, flavored soaps and fall candles in it. Um, yeah, so Pomona is really nice. I like that. Definitely like Pomona. Yeah, really, really, really awesome scent. All right, so next up we got... And sorry if I'm not pronouncing a lot of these right. A lot of them have like, a lot of them, the words are like witchcraft theme and I, <laughs> I don't really know too much about it, but this is lycanthropy, lycanthropy. Yeah, so lycanthropy is fir, lilac, musk, oak moss, and mildew. Huh, okay. So kind of, this is probably like a garden, outdoor garden type scent. Hmm, yeah. I don't even really pick up too much of a scent off this one. Um, yeah, it, it kind of just kind of just smells like um, a light scented bar of soap. Like I guess, yeah, I pick up. I definitely pick up a little bit of the lilac. Um, maybe a little bit of the mildew. Yeah, it kind of it's kind of cool. It kind of just smells like a light kind of. Kind of smells like a. Um, like a rainy garden, but it's like a light scent. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, not bad, it's pleasant. Not my favorite, not my favorite of the bunch, but um, you know, not too bad. So that was lycanthropy. So this is, uh, this is Deserology. I believe this is their version of a barbershop scent. Um, yeah, they said this is kind of supposed to be like a spooky barbershop. Um, Deserology is, Sandalwood, vanilla, musk, citrus, and sage. Yeah, I'm I'm a huge vanilla sandalwood fan, so this is probably gonna be great. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Sandalwood, vanilla, musk, citrus, and sage. Yeah, so one of my favorite soaps from is from Sterling. It's vanilla sandalwood, and this is kind of in a similar vein, but it's got a lot more of the musk going on, and it kind of gives it like a nice spooky edge. Wow, that's really neat. Yeah, the musk and the the musk and the sage really like give it like a spooky barbershop type scent. That's really cool. Yeah, that's a really cool dark barbershop scent. That's neat. Wow, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's definitely one of my one of my favorites in here. That's Deserology. Nice one, nice one. All right, let's see. Up next we got this is Trace Matres. Let's see what we got. So amber, oak moss, terrasol, and rosewood. And you know, I tried to look up terrasol, but I think it's kind of supposed to be like a petrichor, like rain type thing. Um, yeah. So let's see what we got here. Oh, that that one's nice. Yeah. Hmm. I'm picking up a little. Um, and again, I, these are just like the main notes that are on the cover. It's not like all the notes in the soap. So I'm just kind of going off of those. Yeah, this one's nice. I get a little bit of woodiness, a little bit of citrus, a little bit of that rain thing going on. Definitely the amber. Yeah, this one's really pleasant. I like it. Um, yeah, there's the citrus. Okay. Hmm. I like, yeah, I think this might have been the one that was supposed to smell like a rainy garden. I, <laughs> I forget if it was this one or uh, necromantic, but. Hmm. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Nice citrus woody type scent. Yeah, very nice. 
Very nice. That, this one's kind of hard to describe. Sorry about that, but that's <laughs> that's Trace Matres here. All right, let's see. Next up, we got this is Carmilla. So Carmilla got a book on the front. So what do we got in Carmilla? Nog Champa, Frankincense, and Amber. So this one's probably going to have like an incense type thing going on because I am a Nog Champa incense fan. Um, oh, dark color there. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Kind of smells like when you walk into one of those like incense shops or like, um, yeah, like in your local mall, if you have like one of those earthy type stores, it kind of smells like that. Yeah. Very dark, rich scent. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I like that one a lot. All right. That's Carmilla. All right, got four more here. So this is Semaine. So I do have an idea of what this one's gonna smell like. Um, there's another soap by, a similar one by PAA called Blue Semaine. And I think this one has similar notes like the bourbon and the sandalwood, kind of like um, a gourmand. So what do we got in Semaine? This is um, pumpkin, sandalwood, bourbon, tobacco. Yeah, this is gonna be a gourmand for sure. Oh yeah, that smells delicious. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's a winner right there. Oh man, I think I might like this better than the PAA one. It's like, I think the PAA one was a little overly sweet, but this is perfect. You know, it doesn't scream gourmand, but it, it's definitely in there, but it doesn't scream it. Um, nice, sweet, buttery scent, but like not overly sweet. Yeah, this is a good one for, you know, good one for the fall. That's some main. That one's nice. Uh, this one is Druanchia. Probably totally butchered that, but <laughs> let's see what we got in here. This is cedar, oak moss, rosewood, and cypress. So, okay. Kind of like a dark woody type scent, the cedar and the oak moss and the rosewood. Hmm. Yeah, this one kind of reminds me of, um, like, Sherlock from Chiseled Face. It kind of, uh, kind of smells like, uh, I'm almost picking up, like, an old library type scent. Very interesting. Yeah. Definitely picking up the cedar in there. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. It's kind of cool, though. I like it. Very dark, mysterious scent. That's Druanchia. All right, last two. We got Autumn Ash. So I definitely have an idea of what this is going to smell like. This is probably kind of like Dark Fall from Declaration. It's probably going to smell like a bonfire. So, yeah, Autumn Ash, Maple, Spice, Smoke, and Cedar. So, usually in these smoke scents, smoke is like the dominant note. So, let's see what we got. Wow, very, very, very smoky. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, the smoke is, like, really, really up there. Like, mainly smoke. A little bit of the maple and spice in the background, but... Yeah, pretty much just mainly smoke. It's I do, you know, I kind of like smoky scents. They're not my favorite, but... Yeah, this kind of reminds me of, um... What's that smoky one from, uh... Barrister Man Nocturne? You wanted it to smell like a cider house. Yeah, this this reminds me of like when I first smelled Nocturne in the store and I opened it and I was like, oof, yeah, not for me. But yeah, I think this one is a little too smoke forward. Um, still kind of like, you know, I think their goal was to kind of, you know, capture like a autumn bonfire. And um, I think they, they definitely did a good job with that. I just, I just don't think it's something I would wear you know, where to work or anything like that. But, um, you know, they definitely got, they definitely got their point across kind of neat. So the last one, this is Carpathia. So Carpathia is, uh, what we got in Carpathia? Balsam, whetstone, musk, black tea. And I see whetstone a lot in the wet shaving world. And honestly, I never looked it up. I don't really know what it is. If anyone knows, leave a comment. Um, 
So, but the balsam, musk and black tea. Uh, yeah, never too much of a fan of tea scents, but this one might be good. I do like balsam though. I do like that evergreen type scent. Oh, wow, this one's nice. Yeah, this is, um, so this is kind of like a sweet evergreen type scent. Hmm. Yeah, so think if you're like walking in the woods and you like have a latte that's like steaming and you get whiffs of that too. <laughs> very pleasant. Yeah, very nice. Balsam, whetstone, musk black tea. Yeah, I got to look up what whetstone is. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, this one's very nice. Yeah, I like like this one a lot. This might this is probably a crowd pleaser right here too, is Carpathia. Wow, very, very pleased with a lot of these scents. Um yeah, good job, Stephen Joyner over at Southern Witchcraft. If you ever watched this, uh yeah, really, really digging a lot of these. Um yeah, I'm I'm very, very happy with with these. Um and let's see, if I had to pick a favorite, oh boy, let me go back here. That's a tough one. If I had to pick a favorite, I would probably pick the Deserology. The Spooky Barbershop one is really, really nice. Yeah, that one's very nice. And let's see. Pick one more favorite here. Hmm. It's tough. Whatever the last one I did was, was nice. Yeah. Carpathia, where'd you go? Nice. Okay. Yeah. So I would say, I would say two favorites, Desirology and Carpathia. Definitely very, very nice, but they're all good too. So yeah. So anyways, guys, sorry, this is going on a while, but thank you for watching my Southern Witchcraft's sampler mail call here. I do appreciate it. And um, yeah, thank you again for all the support and everything. It means a lot. So take care and I will see you in the next video.